the Royal Analyzer Pro 6000 device. General settings from the device's main screen. Turn on the device. With the hand grip, choose the settings screen using the navigation buttons to the right. Press the enter button. The device settings interface appears. The first interface is the language, and through it, you can choose one of the 10 languages that this device offers you. The second interface is to edit the time and date. The third interface is for adjusting the brightness of the device's screen. The fourth interface is to adjust the device volume. The fifth interface to convert the sound issued by the device to be received in the wireless headphones. The sixth interface is to set the device to factory settings. You can store all scans on the tablet before taking the process of resetting the device to factory settings. When the factory reset process is completed, the power icon will appear to you. When it appears, turn off the device from the on and off button and turn it back on again. By this process, you will have finished the factory reset process. Pre-scan instructions. First, you should remove necklaces, bracelets, watches, and other metal items, and keep these accessories outside the scan area. Second, start the scan process from north to south to get more accurate results. Third, you must stay away from industrial facilities, high voltage lines, and electromagnetic equipment. Fourth, determine the soil type of the area you are in before starting the scan. Fifth, when moving over the scan area, maintain a distance of approximately 10 centimeters between the two scanning sensors and the ground surface. Make sure the two scanning sensors form a vertical right angle with the ground surface and move in a balanced manner without any vibration of the device. Sixth, keep the device pointing in the same direction regardless of the position of the scanning path and in both systems, the live scan system and the 3D ground scan system, and do not turn around and change the direction regardless of the scanning pattern being parallel or zigzag. Seven, when doing the scan, make sure that your steps are commensurate with the moving speed of the device, about 30 centimeters, and move with a side step to the left or right, according to the choice of the starting point of the scan, about 60 centimeters. How to use 1. Automatic ground scan through the device screen. Rotate the device handle upwards. Open the two scanning sensors at a right angle to the ground to scan a larger area with more accurate results. Mark the north side and keep it behind your back. Press the on and off button below the handle to turn on the device. Choose the ground scan from the device screen using the navigation buttons. Select the device screen. Go to scan mode and select automatic. Choose the zigzag scanning pattern. Choose the starting point from the left. Choose the number of scan area columns, three. Choose the number of scan area rows, three. Go to the start icon. This screen will show you the scan parameters that you have selected Press Enter to start the scan. Move forward in steps of about 30 centimeters, depending on the number of rows you selected. The device will give you a message. This column is complete. Prepare to move on to the next column. Go with a line parallel to the row you cleared, about 60 centimeters to the right. Press the Enter button to agree. Move back in steps according to the number of rows. The device will give you a message, this column is complete. Prepare to move on to the next column. Go with a line parallel to the row you scanned earlier. Press the enter button to agree. Move forward with the machine in steps according to the number of rows. Upon completion of scanning all columns, the device will give you a message, scanning is completed. What action do you want to take? Choose the Save icon to save the result you obtained after the scan process. The scan results will be stored sequentially in numbers 
Arranged from newest to oldest, a screen containing all previous scans will appear, detailing the date and time, in addition to the number of columns and rows in which the scan was performed. From this page, you can send the required result to the tablet in order to view the result with higher accuracy. Click the Send a File to Tablet icon. A message will appear on the tablet that the scan file has been downloaded. 2. Automatic ground scan system through the tablet screen. Press the tablet's power button. From the main menu, make sure that the tablet is connected to the device by showing the green connection icon. From the left menu, press the second icon by touching the tablet screen. The selection menu for the 3D ground scan system will appear. From the scan mode icon, choose automatic. From the starting point icon, select left. From the scan pattern icon, choose zigzag. From the number of columns icon, choose three columns. From the number of rows icon, choose three rows. Then press the next icon. When you click on the next icon in the interface, a screen will appear containing the scan parameters that you chose. Click the Start Scan icon. The scan interface will appear on the device screen, containing a grid with three columns and three rows, and the scan process will start from the left. Press the Start button below the handle to start the process. Move with the square as it moves from one square to another, and when you finish three rows, it will stop. Move the device sideways to the right by about 60 centimeters. Then press the Start button. Move backward with the square parallel to the previous column until the scan stops. Repeat these steps for the rest of the remaining columns. Upon completion, the scan result will appear on a separate screen asking you to save the result. Save the image by clicking on the Save icon. A screen will appear that gives you the option to name the file in the way that suits you. When you finish naming the file, a list of the previous and current history will appear for you to return to in the future. You can view the result you got by clicking on the image itself. A screen will appear showing the scan image from the top. You can manually move the image of the scan result directly on the screen to view it from all directions and know the shape of the target in a 3D image. You can also zoom in and out of the target image. Press on the second icon at the top of the screen. You should have prior knowledge about the type of soil that you have scanned. And based on this, you can choose the type of soil that you have scanned. Choose a soil that is low in minerals. The value of soil depths will be shown to you in several squares in the grid. Choose the third icon from the top to show the results of the detected signal strength in all squares. Different numbers will be shown in each of the grid squares. Wherever the number increases, the detected metal is more valuable and precious, and when the number decreases, the metal is of less value. The fourth icon is to display the depths of the grid squares. The fifth icon, which is to separate the colors from each other, so that you can separate the metal, voids, and soil. The sixth icon is for the grid settings, and the ability to change colors for the soil types shown on the network. 3. Live Scan Through the Device Screen Choose Live Scan from the Device Screen using the navigation buttons. Press the Enter button. The device starts beeping. Wait 10 seconds. Press the Enter button again for the device to self-calibrate, after which the sound stops and the screen color changes to green. Then the device becomes ready for the scanning process. Start moving forward from north to south, approximately 30 centimeters per step, so that the distance between the two scanning sensors and the ground is approximately 10 centimeters. When approaching metal targets, the red color will appear, and when there is a void, the blue color will appear, with the increase or decrease in the intensity of the sound issued by the device, depending on its proximity and distance from the target. 4. 
Live Scan Through the Tablet Screen From the tablet screen, choose the third icon from the left menu by touching the device screen. The Live Scan interface appears. Choose the Start Live Scan icon. A green screen appears with a calibration icon on it. Mark the north side and keep it behind your back. Press Calibrate from the tablet screen, as in the Live Scan via the device screen. Then scan the place.